This is a CAS instructional video, creating a new PLU. Please have the latest version of CLWorks Pro installed, or for more information, go to cas-usa.com. Okay, in this video we are going to create a new PLU from scratch. Uh, you have the option also of importing an Excel file to create a database with your PLUs, but for this video, we are going to just manually create all of our PLUs with CLWorks. Go up to add, get a default PLU, get things filled out here. Start with the department column. In the previous video, we covered creating a few departments. For this reason, um, I recommend adding all your departments beforehand. Um, so we'll go over to the data tab. Let's make sure you have all your departments entered already. Add them here. Let's make sure to save. We'll head back to our PLUs. Where we will change the PLU number. This is used for calling up your PLU on your keypad. You can change your speed keys as well, but that will be covered under the keyboard tab video in the future. You can select your PLU type. It's by weight, non-weight, by count. And this is where you will change your item code. This is used for linking to your POS system if you have one. Um, if you have a database with a assigned item and an item code, you want to make sure you enter that here. This will also show up on your barcode if you have that option selected. Name 1 is the main name for your PLU. This is obviously a PLU that could have some similar names, so we will go over to name 2 to differentiate this PLU. We will add a subname here. This will show up nested underneath name 1 on your label. This just gives you the option to have similar name PLUs. You can have all of it name 1, but I recommend using the name one and the name two feature to differentiate them. The group number is another feature from Steelworks where you can assign PLUs to groups so that you can set them aside for different sales. So we'll go to save and we'll go to data and navigate to the group tab. Like anything else with TL Works, you'll always have the same screen. You can go up here to add. Assign a number here, and for this example, I have a fruit group. Okay, we will save this, and as we navigate back to the PLU tab, we will see now there is a group to select. Next, we're going to go for an origin number. This is a country of origin if you need to add this, especially for your label. If you need it on there, you will have to create this first. So for this example, we'll have a country of origin of USA. Make sure you save. And now there will be a selectable USA origin number. Correct ingredients is where you will just add any ingredients you want to show up on your label. We won't add any for this video, but you can add that here. This will be your unit price. In this column you'll add the by weight or by count price per pound. Here make sure that you have two decimal for the price. If not, check your config tab to make sure you do not have three selected. The image column will be used to add images to your PLU. This is mainly used for the CL7200 so that your speed keys will have images attached to them. You can see them on your keyboard instead of a name. Uh, we will cover that in a future video, but just to show you here, this is where you would load your image file. You'll find that on your computer, they're typically JPEGs, but we accept all these formats shown here. The tear value column is where you'll enter your tear weight if you know it. This is a convenience thing for seal works. Um, 
it's a feature where you can add your tear weight beforehand, so you don't have to manually enter it each time you call up a PA. The Nutrifact number we will not cover in this video. We'll move on to the sell by date column. This is where you will add a sell by date if you need one. If you leave it at zero, it will not show up on your label. If an item needs to sell in four days, you want to enter five because the system does take into consideration the day you're on as a full day. So for example, here we have five. Um, the update column is just showing when the item was created or when there are any changes made to it. There will be some differences between a CL7200 and a 5500, but this is generally how each PLU will be created. We will cover any differences in the future. Um, you want to just make sure everything's right here and save it. And this is how you will add each PLU. Um, in a future video, we will cover uh, connecting to your scale through the scale tab up on the top right. And we will also cover how to download all the information that you've created, all of your PLUs. Um, we will cover how to download them to your scale. Thank you for watching this video.